welcome again to my kitchen. Today we're gonna make a pickle express. All right, here are the ingredients that I have today. I have a pork butt. You can use pork shoulder or pork belly. And then I have my coconut, um, coconut milk. I have my chili pepper, sweet onion, garlic, shrimp paste, chicken bouillon or pork bouillon. I have a sugar, ground black pepper, and shishito peppers to add some vibrant color into the Pickle Express. All right, so let's start cooking. All right, so I preheat my pan to medium high heat. Now I'm using my olive oil. You just need three tablespoons of olive oil just to sear the pork. Okay. My pork. I'm just gonna stir this for probably about 10 minutes so it gets rendered the fat a little bit. Now so it's kinda like light, sweet, golden brown. Alright, so it's been searing for 10 minutes or so and then what I'm gonna do now is I can put my shrimp paste, onions, chili flakes. So what I'm gonna do is I just wanna saute the onion and the chili flakes for about 3 minutes. Mm, smell delicious already. I can't wait. Alright. So after 3 minutes and you see the onion is translucent, you can put the garlic. And then just cook them for like a minute. And then ground black pepper. Just probably one fourth teaspoon to taste. Or you can add more later on. Mmm, look at that. And then coconut milk. You can use a uh, pork bouillon or chicken bouillon. Either one is fine. Sugar. So I just gonna simmer this for 30 to 40 minutes. So bring it to high heat and let it boil. One is boiling. Lower it down to um, low high heat. Cover and simmer to 30 to 40 minutes. All right. Here it is. After 30 minutes, if you look at it, oh my god, it looks so yummy. And the coconut milk is really thickening and that's what you're looking for in the Pickle Express. What I noticed for other recipes is too watery. It's gonna like soup and my husband don't like that. So I'll make sure that my Pickle Express meet my husband's expectation. So here it is. So after 30 minutes, I already taste it. What I did is I just add more shrimp paste just to get to that taste that I wanted. The meat is tender. And then what I'm gonna do last, I'm putting my shishito peppers. This is to add some vibrant color into the Bicol Express. It's optional, you don't have to if you don't want. But this is how I make my um, Bicol Express. It just adds some crunchiness also. It's not even spicy. So, I just gonna like cook them for one minute because I just wanna retain the crunchiness from the peppers. Oh, I can't wait. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my god! Kain na naman ako nito ng rice. Gosh, that means I'm gonna eat a lot, lots, lots of rice. Uh, well, you know, I can start my diet again tomorrow. I'm gonna cook it for one minute, and then it's gonna be ready to serve. I can't wait. All right, the moment of truth. Let's face it. I have my rice. Filipino love rice. All right, here we go. Ugh. Oh, look at that. So all this oil is from the coconut. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So look at that. Ooh. Hello. So good. So good. Mm, I'm drooling. Yum, 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 yum. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. 
The spiciness is so perfect. The shishito pepper is still have that crunchiness, which I like it. Oh my god, this is so good. Ugh. And guys, please let me know how you guys think about the recipe. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more recipes. And of course, to hit the notification. Alright, see you guys next time. Thank you. Again, my next salamat. Mahalo. I love you guys. Thank you so much.